Today marks a week since eight families lost nearly everything they had in a fire at the Brookshire townhomes. Today, the Salvation Army put a smile on their faces and gave them Christmas gifts for their children. News Channel 8's Jana Jones was there for that, and she joins us now live in the Tampa News Center. A little sliver of hope for these folks. Good evening to you, Jen. It was certainly good to see. These families told me today that Christmas would not be possible without the generosity of others. I lost a lot. But I know something good is going to happen soon. Like, I know it has to happen soon because nobody has bad luck all the time. Bad luck ripped through this apartment complex last Monday, leaving Devin Geary and her family with nothing. We were just getting like our, our life on track. We just moved in there in April. We weren't even there a whole year, so we were still moving in. Now the Geary family has no house, let alone a Christmas tree. We were so worried about Christmas. Like he hadn't, we hadn't gotten like gifts yet, and then now all the money that we had spent or we're going to spend how to go towards finding a new place. But that's where the Salvation Army stepped in and provided gifts for her four-year-old daughter and three-month-old son. And I'm just happy to know that there's a system there that's for support and it's able to help us. Other families got help too. Joanna Anacedo fought through the tears, but very grateful her 10-year-old son will now have a Christmas. I'm so blessing. I'm so thankful. Salvation Army glad they can help people when they need it most. It's kind of similar to WFLA, aid on your side. Like we sense that we don't exist just for ourselves, that we exist for others. And others getting a glimpse of hope this holiday season. I just keep my head up and I hope that. We, we, we can find something and it's better and it, it was all comes out for a really good, good reason. Right now, most of the families are staying with friends and families. They hope to find a new apartment in the first of the year. Jen? Wish them all a lot of goodness this holiday season. Thanks so much, Jana Jones, reporting live for us.